everybody we are here with jordan man it's me caitlin hutchison aiden mcduffie and noah lyles um aiden, talk to me about how you're feeling in this moment you're literally sitting in between two of your favorite athletes and about to have the conversation of your life i feel i feel great it's a shock but it's a blessing and i'm i'm happy i'm very very happy and then you two, Jordan and Noah, like, how does it feel being able to sit down with one of your biggest fans and talk about anime? Sure, I was just told that anime was going to be talked about, okay. so I am here for that. Yes. <laughs> I'm all about it, man. Very excited. Can't wait. All right, so before we get into the topic of anime, you know, since this moment is very special, um, what are some words of advice, Jordan and Noah, that you would give to Aiden as you know he tries to fill the shoes of becoming one of the fastest men alive? Uh, yeah, to be honest, I think the first thing to say off of that is don't try to fill anybody's shoes. You know, these, these are your shoes to fill. These are, this is your journey. Uh, a lot of people will come up to me and they'll be like, yo, I want to be the next Noah Lyles. And I'll be like, all right, well, the first job in becoming the next Noah Lyles is becoming the first you. You know, I, I can't tell you how I did it. Of course I can, but it's not going to help you because all our, our journeys are going to be different. And I want you to lean into that, you know, uh, listen to your body learn what makes you special learn how to increase that figure out what your weaknesses are you know and strengthen those but also you know make sure that you are bringing a team together and um as time goes on it'll just keep increasing more and more and as long as you're having fun it's going to continue to be fun yeah man and I, i've had a much different path than a lot of people in the sport you know i wasn't a high school champion i wasn't a college champion and really like you know my whole path towards being a high level athlete has come uh, really pretty much as a pro, right? And being one of the top five guys in the country in 2018 and 19. Uh, to me, it's really all about just really maintaining that love for the sport and understanding that, you know, most of the time in your life, what you're doing, you're going to be doing things that aren't running, right? Like you're going to be, you know, watching anime. That's what I'm really here to talk about. You're going to be <laughs> yeah. with your friends. Yes. You're going to be like doing all kinds of things like that, right? Uh, and so for a lot of people, to be fair, I'm oftentimes talking to guys who came up in the same kind of vein that I did, right, where you're saying, hey, you're someone who's thinking about chasing the dream, like, why should you chase it, those kinds of things. Um, but I think to me it's really important to make sure that you're, like, happy in your life, make sure you're doing things that are, like, enriching for you as a human being, uh, and take care of yourself, like, wholly, beyond just yourself as a runner, uh, and that'll really help you continue loving running, loving everything that you're doing, loving the sport. Uh, and, and when you love the sport and you love yourself, that's when you're going to succeed the most. I definitely agree with that, 100%. Yeah. And I know Thank I've been you. known for saying these things in kind of crazy ways in certain interviews, you know. But <laughs> I, I, I try, I'm trying to keep it, make sure I'm delivering insightful points without talking about anything crazy today. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Hey, bro, I don't care. I, I'll jump into a story real quick, so. Man, <laughs> you ain't going to hurt me if you start. <laughs> hey, we got some time today, so so don't even worry about it, but. You know, now that we've shared this sentimental moment, let's get into what we really came here to talk about today, which is some anime. But we're going to start off with, you know, the generic questions because the fans want to get to know you a little bit. Yeah. So I want each of you to talk about um, how you got into anime or who got you into it. Yeah, I think I'll go first since I'm at the end here. Uh, so my fir very first introduction was I was probably about, I want to say eight or nine. I was over one of my family friend's house, um, they, there was me and Josephus, and then there were uh, these other two boys, and we were all around the same age, and we would go over and have long sleepovers and play all day and all this stuff, and they had the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi <laughs> video it's game. Always it's, like always it's always something like that. It's always something like that. Yes, it's always Dragon Ball Z. And we were playing the game for the first time. I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, wh why are you guys so into this? Like, but the, it, the game was fun. I was bad at it, and they were kicking my butt, but it was fun. That later matter. that night, they're like, oh, we're going to show you who's going to come on TV later tonight because it's Saturday. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. We wait, and it comes on late, late at night, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> but here it is, finally this show, and it was during the Cell Saga. Oh, God. And That's I'm awesome. watching the show, and they were at first I was really bored because it was just a lot of waiting around. I'm like, what the heck are they doing? I've been watching this show for 15 minutes, and nobody's done anything. <laughs> the biggest flaw of anime. <laughs> and then finally Goku and Cell start fighting, and I'm just like, this is amazing like this is amazing so skip a little further after that i actually fell off i wasn't uh, into it i now become a middle schooler and i'm starting to read manga very first time uh, i can't even remember what the f i think 
Rooney Kinchin was that was probably yeah that was like probably like the first one I read and then I got into just a little bit yeah. uh, and then I got into like a few random ones I think I was reading like a uh, Vampire Diary at one point okay. <laughs> and then <laughs> finally <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then finally I I got online on an app on my phone and I started reading. Garden of Eden, and to this day, it's one of my favorite mangas ever. It is, it, it finished, it was the first manga that was finished, so I got to read it from the beginning, and it had an end, and I was very glad that it had an end, because you know how many mangas you run oh, up yeah, on, and it just has like, it ongoing. Yes. Oh, I'm going to be talking about later. You know, <laughs> yes. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yes. So, we gonna get you I, I, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm speed this up because we do have more stories to go on. Finally, eventually, I w- started watching Toonami way more. They started coming out with way more shows. Of course, that's after that. Netflix finally started putting on more animes. But for a long time, I was on Kiss Anime. <laughs> you know, those, yes. those bootleg <laughs> anime yes. places that give you that good old virus that yeah. are you struggling with them? Um, <laughs> 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 but People eventually, it just suspicious. it just kept growing and growing, and all of a sudden, the, you know, this was half my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So for mine, mine started my sophomore. I did start one my sophomore year, and it was Hunter X Hunter. And my friend Stanley That's was trying show. to That's convince me right. so bad to watch it, and you know, I was like, I'm not watching it. It's weird. I was one of those. So I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna watch it. And then I finally watched it, and I got to episode 43. I remember the episode, and I just stopped. And I was like, Stanley, I can't do it. I was like, it, I just, it's just not, I'm not there yet. I just can't get to it. But then my junior year, I was just bored during the summer, my junior year summer. And then that's when I decided I was going to start Naruto. And then after I started Naruto, it's just when the whole obsession started. And then I started blowing through it, like, nonstop. And I got through that in, like, two months. Three months. Are we living the same life? <laughs> that's exactly what happened with me. Yeah, that's how it all started. I'm, I mean, when you really, I think we see it a lot more now, but a lot of people in the new generation, they are getting their starter animes from us. Yeah. And yeah, we yeah. usually, like, I, I know I have a lot of conversations with my anime friends about what to start other people on. Right. And it's usually the same stuff. It's, it's, always, it's always tough because you kind of want to find one that's addicting enough at the beginning, but mm-hmm. not so overwhelming that they're going to be scared for the whole. So, like, like uh, exactly. Attack on Titan's a, a classic one because it's just Love ripping it. yeah. from the beginning. Full Metal's amazing because it's short, it's concise, yeah, that's, it's beautiful. That's my favorite, to be honest. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. right up there. It's right yeah. up there for me. But uh, the way I got into it, man, it's like in third grade, like, if you just didn't. Like, if you didn't go home and watch Toonami and watch Yu Hakusho with Roni Kenshin, yes! Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Z from, like, 4 to 6 o'clock every day, then you couldn't, you didn't know what you were talking about in the playground. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the playground and you didn't know, you didn't know about the spirit bomb? Like, Dragon you, fist. you just didn't know yeah. what you were talking about. <laughs> And so for me, it all started that way. When I got older, you know, I kind of fell away from it. And, you know, I started collecting manga with uh, one of my friends came to school with a Yu-Gi-Oh! comic book. And I'm like, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! comics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went and started buying manga. Now I own like 400 volumes of, of manga just over the last however many years I've wow. been collecting. When I went, to, it's my prized possession. I have like a chart and everything. You know, I, I like when I see it. When you I don't w- play by his manga, man. Bro, you gotta send me a picture. I, I bro. really don't. Did I not send you a picture? You got, you gotta send me a picture. I'm surprised I have him before. I, you, you just have it. I gotta see that. <laughs> I, but I need to see that. It's beautiful. It really is good. We'll, we'll, we'll send it to everyone afterwards. You know what I'm saying? But the, uh, but it's, you know, it's. I got into the manga and then I kind of got away from it in college. But then afterwards, one of my friends was like, you know, you should really keep reading One Piece. It gets a lot better when you yes, when yes, it goes it on. Goat piece. Say something. Say something. I, I, I have not started. I actually you, did. You, I have started. Your brother's address Rosa. Rosa. I have started. Address Rosa. I know. Listen, I know. Listen, listen, your brother's listen, address listen, Rosa. Listen, listen. I know. Me, I know. Me and Jordan, our goal by the end of this podcast is to get Aiden and Noah on yeah, I haven't the goat started piece. Either. The goat piece train. <laughs> it is goat piece. It is goat piece. I just finished dress Rosa and ooh. I've started this anime exactly. and I tried to read It's like, what you know about Marine no, 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 no. What you know about Marine Exactly. You what gotta, you know about Marine you, gotta you don't even know what okay, you got to get to Water 7. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. We'll, we'll get, to, we'll get it. to that later. All right. You can so spit that wisdom. <laughs> so with me, um, so one of my family members when I was younger, I would always go over to their house and literally had a room full of like Dragon Ball stuff. And so the only thing I could really do was just hang out with my cousins and watch Dragon Ball. But since I was young, I didn't. Like, I didn't remember none of it or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so really, really got away from it. And then 
um, three years ago, I became really, really good friends with somebody that I really consider my brother now. Thank you, Omar, for putting me on. Uh, quick <laughs> shout out to you. Thank you, Omar. Yes. <laughs> But um, he was begging me from like the time we first started being friends. He's like, you have to watch Naruto, so you have to, you have to. And I was like, eight, and I'm like, nah, this is weird. I'm not gonna be put on nothing like that. And then eventually um, I was like, Aiden, I got bored. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch it. And I remember watching the first episode of Naruto and I'm like, bro, this girl Sakura does not shut up. Absolutely, I don't know how absolutely. I was like, how do y'all want me to get through this? And so I remember texting one of my other friends about it, and he was just like, well, if you're just going to complain about it the whole time, then don't watch it. And I'm like, nah, bro, like, I'm going to get through it now because you just got me tight. So <laughs> I was like, nah, I tried to I'm like, There's no IDC World this. video about this, yes. about this phenomenon. Yes. <laughs> There's no IDC World video about this phenomenon. Yes. So I eventually was like, yeah, I'm going to just get through it. And I just blowing through Naruto, absolutely loved it. I've got my phone case as pain. I don't oh, know if you can see on the camera. Yes, pain is my favorite. Out. Hold on, because he got his, too. Got my Minato case. Yes. Oh, okay. snap. <laughs> and from there, just, like, really falling in love with Naruto. Um, it was just a wrap since then. So, like I said, I've only been watching, like, anime for, like, a year. So, and it's also really hard to convince me to watch Child. that. So, yes, I know. So, my list isn't very long, but what I'm into, I'm into. Because I showed Noah my tattoo yesterday of my Demon Slayer. Uh, oh, sword snap. What? Rengoku. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. I have Rengoku sword um, on my leg, and it says his quote, set your heart ablaze. So I'm, I'm into it now. It, it's That's no awesome. turning back. It got a tattoo on me. So, yeah. I want to tell a story real quick. One of my yeah, one of my right. boys was just like you all. He was talking about you know he's Nigerian. You know he's like man, my parents don't like this stuff. We Christians, you know like <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> you know my and I was like man, you gotta just give it a try, man. Like yeah, you would love this stuff. You love like sci-fi. You love like the Marvel movies and that stuff. Right. You know uh, I, and he's like no man, I'm, I don't want to become like one of those people. He said <laughs> his I words. I take pride in being one of those people. Thank you. I don't want. I'm one of those people now, I guess. You are. Ooh. Congratulations. Thank you. So I get him on maybe, it was like Kill La Kill or something, something wild oh. like that. So I started him on oh, that gosh. years oh, ago. Yeah. Oh, man. And, you know, eventually I give him my Crunchyroll and everything. You know, I don't know how much he's watching and whatnot. And one day I changed my Crunchyroll password. And like the next day, I get a text from him that's like, uh, that's like, uh, hey Jordan, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the password to Crunchyroll again? <laughs> I was oh like, God. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was it I was like, he's in. Trapped that boy. <laughs> now, now I just gotta get him to cosplay. You know, that's that's that's, that's, oh, that's you, the next that thing. That is taking it a that little. Is hopefully yes. my next step. I tell you, I gotta, I gotta like bring done, my Demon Slayer yeah, rose for you, man. Like, I've, I've oh. done some Hollywood, I mean, some some Halloween thing. Like, I was greed mm. for Halloween right, right, one right, year, right. and oh, it was sick. actually really good. But it's I was fun. just like, man, I'm trying to go deep. Like, I want to have sets of costumes and Listen, outfits. Mm -hmm. So me and Aiden was chatting beforehand, and tell them about what you did for your graduation, speaking of costumes. Okay, so for my graduation, I came, and all my photos took it all in the Kotsky cloak. Every, um, just about oh, every. Let's go. Um, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I got, I got the the pain. <laughs> this real. rose shall no pain. I did that okay. whole pose and everything. I had oh, everything. God. I also have the entire Sasuke Boruto fit. The sword. The the yes, the, the everything. That's the amazing. Entire fit. You I'm are now <laughs> one of us. He's in the one of us. Yeah. 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 It really is. The graduation, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. His mom was like, well, most of the pictures I took was, was him in his costume. I only got, like, five pictures of him normally, and I'm like, Hey, and don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a question. Who would you all cosplay if you had to cosplay one character? I struggle with this one a lot, yeah. to be honest, because mm -hmm. I'm now thinking about who do I want my first one to be. And I actually kind of started falling romantic. in love. Your first one? <laughs> yeah, I, I actually started falling in love with, like, League of Legends, which I know is an anime, but uh, it has a very anime style. Yeah, yeah. And like, I don't, I, so I don't know if you guys have played the game, but uh, Echo. Lots of friends. Yeah. Like that I Echo, played. by far, would probably be the, the character I go with, especially now that I'm like dyeing my hair silver and everything. Oh, yeah. Right. Like right, I can right. just see myself with the, the the bat and the the cool techno clothes and everything. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, that that would definitely be it. I'm with it. I would uh, most definitely be Ichigo. I want his. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. He looks the yes. best to me. Better than any main character. Has the most dress than any main character to me. Bung. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to. I stopped. You know, I should let you. 
I'm, I'm gonna say this, and then and then we'll let you go. You know, okay. I know you got some more time to think about <laughs> right, it. Because a second ahead. ago, you were like, we're taking this to a whole new level. But uh, yeah. listen, go but, ahead, take it, take it where you ever want to take it. So I never actually finished Bleach uh, a long time ago. Because at once, it, once you get past the Soul Society arc, it starts going off yeah. the rails and everything. And there's a lot of um, you know, the logical inconsistencies in the story, everything like that. Oh, he get down like that. <laughs> but my boy Joaquin, he was like, so he read he read Ace of Diamond, and I said, if you read all of Ace of Diamond. Uh, I'll read, I'll, I'll read all of Bleach. And he was like, deal. <laughs> he was done in like a week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, I, oh. <laughs> and so, so like, actually my whole time here, I've just been like, I hit, I hit the hundred chapter limit a day on the Shonen Jump app of Bleach. Like yesterday, I've just been like burning through it. And I'm, 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 I'm at a dinner last night and a guy has a Kampe- Kampachi Zaraki shirt on. Mm-hmm. I just wanted, I just wanted to see this guy and be like, bang, kai. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I can't do that. That's, that's even too much for me. But, uh, but Ichigo, I'm with it. And my first was Kaname Tosin, which is, I feel like that's like every black guy with dreads like first. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we went to the con. I didn't have I didn't have an outfit or anything. And me and my friend Ken showed up and we're like, we're so lame, dressed up like normal people here. I was like, what can I go to Goodwill and make? I was like, <laughs> True. sheet, sheet, tear up the shirt, put a little scarf around, yep. get some sunglasses. Yep. I'm Kaname Tosin. <laughs> there you go. You made it work. So I would say for me, I want to be pain because. He's mm. my favorite character in Naruto. Also, I've been really meaning to try orange hair. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it would mm. give me the perfect excuse to either get an orange wig or to dye my hair orange. So you Ooh, know what's crazy? You could do some orange braids, too. It's, it's yeah. Facts, facts. It, it's actually very shocking to me how, because on TikTok, all I see is either, like, funny, wild, black TikTok, or I... <laughs> 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 or a bunch of anime stuff. Right. TikToks anime look stuff. the same. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. It TikToks probably does. The same. And I'm shocked at how many females will do male characters and be killing it. Because it's oh, for sure. Fire. For sure. Like, yeah. It's not okay. This might sound like messed up, but I feel like sometimes, like in anime, when they come with female characters, like they have the potential to be so cool, and the writers just make them trash. Like that's I real. Like, like, that's I was was annoyed, a second ago. That's yeah. why I was annoyed with her, like when I first started Naruto, because I'm like, this girl got the potential to be crazy, and she right. she showed that in Shippuden and yeah. in Boruto. But it's like, but in the background, you, you're still like. I'm like, Dang. shut up, Sakura. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping right, nobody, right, right. and that and that be blowing me. So for me, it's like it's hard for me to really resonate with female characters. And so when I see the male characters, I'm like, like yeah, I'm trying to be like you, like yeah, like, right, right. But I would I would hope you know in the future that they make the female characters more fire. But in Demon Slayer, what they doing with Tandro's sister? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nezuko, right, she, yeah. She turns Nezuko, into the woman. And it's worth sure. noting, like, uh, Full Metal, like, reasons that Full Metal and Demon Slayer have a lot of strong female characters, they're both written yeah. by women. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I and agree. I, and Arakawa, who wrote uh, Full Metal Alchemist, has a new one coming out now called yeah. Yomi no Tsuga. It's at, like, eight chapters. So that's an easy one to get into if you're it's looking true. for a new, uh, new thing. Yeah. All right, so we're at a point now where I think it's time to ask, what's your guys' top four so far? Oh, top four. all right. My top four. Goat Piece is definitely Let's in go. That. <laughs> all right. Attack I'm with on, it. Attack on Titan. Okay. Um, All right. Naruto, of course. And then I would. I'm torn between Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer. Okay. Uh, we can tell. We can tell from that that you're a little young. In the yeah, end. I, I, I was about to say. I know. I know. I, know. Tell I, many, but huh? I, I have to ask, why is Attack on Titan in your top four? Okay, so. Because I was just talking about this earlier. People was like, they was like, well, if Naruto is your favorite, then why do you think Attack on Titan is better? And I'm like, it's purely about the story. Mm-hmm. I like Naruto because a lot of stuff going on, a lot of characters to get into. It's my first one, favorite, all the other stuff. But the story with Attack on Titan, I also really love violence, which is really not great. <laughs> so, you know, when hey, yes, what it is, you know? That's mostly why it's a great genre. It's a great genre. It's great genre. Every episode it just makes it work. And everything in the TV show is just so articulate like i don't want to spoil nothing for nobody that's listening but y'all know when they had that whole plot twist go down in the most yeah. recent season mm-hmm. and it was yeah. like oh so you you the, <laughs> you okay. the issue yeah. you're yeah. the yeah. problem yeah. is it me am i the drama yes he was i'm the not drama. the drama okay. it can't be me <laughs> so yeah just i love tv shows that like literally easter eggs everywhere you can rewatch the show a million times you will always find something new and i'm a sucker for a really good story so that's why i tackle tights in my top four that's Did, actually have you read the manga or no no i haven't okay, I, okay. i'm not a manga reader yet that's my so yeah. so she said yet though kendall, she said kendall, yet. Yeah. kendall yeah. has and this man just hangs it over us so, yeah. <laughs> so that's step. actually the exact answer i was looking for yeah. that was truthfully a test to see 
what are you looking for in your your yes. animes and your mm. mangas? Are you yes. truthfully here because just because the violence is cool, or no. do you need a well put together story? A well put together story. I'm not gonna lie though. I actually I felt like Attack on Titan. I didn't like the ending. I thought you know and maybe because I'm a manga reader. I'm 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 that guy. I'm that guy. Yeah yeah. Because I, I have I don't know oh, the man, ending. You yet. Do, you you read the manga. Know, so yeah. I felt like there were a lot of a lot of there's a lot of foreshadowing that wasn't like in in, in, in Japanese is actually a term called fukusen kaishu, which means like it's like the return on foreshadowing, right? And that's one thing. That's what makes One Piece so great is there's return yes. on all of the foreshadowing. Yes. Anything they bring up, no matter how far along they brought it up, they will bring it back. Three hundred chapters it. later, like t- literally, like, literally yes. ten years in the real world later, yes. we're finally having the arc that we would have foreshadowed in Thriller Bark. So, yes. so th- but but it, it, I feel like in Attack on Titan, they missed a lot of things that were foreshadowed, and I yeah. felt like there were some things, and because that's what I think makes Full Metal so amazing. Mm. That's um, my mm-hmm. truthfully, that's what truthfully makes. Full Metal Alchemist by far my favorite anime because yeah, we, uh, everything is full all top four. You can give the full yeah. top four and then we can, uh, you know. We'll, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, but what's we, your, we, your, we what's your top four? I'm going to go last. I'm going to go last. We can get the fight in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really ready to fight. All right, so number one is Naruto, of course. I don't think that's going to change probably. Solid, solid. Two is Bleach. I really, really okay. loved it. Watched the entire I, I, two, I two, okay. two, two, top four. Four. Yeah. two yeah. original yeah. top fours. <laughs> I, I can dig it. Yeah. This, this, man's, this man's a big three, yeah. a big three man. Yes. Three at the moment is JoJo's. I really, really love it. Which that. one? Just the whole show. You want to know the whole part? show? Okay. You want to know what part's my favorite? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Like, 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 which part? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part four with Josuke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my that favorite. That was my too. favorite part. Yeah, uh, best openings too. Yes, I really love that one. And then number four at the moment is probably Black Clover. And that's because I love Austin. This man loves the show now. I <laughs> love <laughs> Black Clover. Shonen, I love it as well. It's, it's go. It's go. Like I feel like everybody kind of sleeps on Black Clover because it's kind of simple. I do. But I'm I like, sleep on Black Clover. <laughs> guys, no, I have do you not see the fight <laughs> scenes? The fight scenes are immaculate. And the story is now finally coming together. Did you want me to yes. wait for the story to come together? No, I mean to be honest, there was a lot of story, but it just wasn't about Asta and you know. It was yeah. more mm-hmm. about the kingdom and what was yeah. happening yeah. in the kingdom present tense but now you're getting like backside story of what was happening in the kingdom in the past okay. why Asta has no power why you know is ha- is so talented like okay. mm-hmm. now we're like oh 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 I, I was already on board but now you're getting right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, gotta yeah, worry yeah, me yeah, I'm already yeah, here yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 but so we already get heated and right. I just feel like we should start asking a couple of debate questions because at this point... Uh, we don't get to say our top fours, though? Oh, yeah. oh, I, I, was, I, was, I, was I did like, ask that. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, go. Right, I was now like, we, we really about to get into a debate. And I was going to yes. say, first, when you said JoJo's, my next cosplay might be... I might do a gender band Ermes Costello from JoJo's because okay. she has the cool dress. That's not the next one, but yeah. I, have, I got to have separate top four manga and anime lists. Oh, uh, thing. same. Yeah, How do you say So in no particular order, uh, manga, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Mob Psycho 100, okay. One Piece, obviously, Go piece. and Monster, which is, that's like a seinen anime, or seinen manga. It's yeah, a, I don't it's, think it's, I've heard that one. It's, it's dark. It's about this guy. He's a doctor. He's a Japanese doctor in Germany, and he, like, saves this kid's life. And then the kid, after he's having like an existential crisis about is one life worth more than another, mm. he wasn't supposed to save the kid. The doctor, his, you know, his, his boss wanted him to go save some famous person. He said mm. no. Uh, and... I'm and so he saves the it. kid, and then the kid grows up to be the titular monster. He's like a total psycho who like wow. kills a bunch of people. Yeah, and it is good. I've watched it. I haven't yeah. read the manga, but I've watched it. Oh, it's that's good. A, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 You need to sneak yeah. up. Yeah. 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 It's good. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. your knowledge, yeah. my boy. That's a real one. That's a real choice. I was gonna say because I like where this is going. This definitely looks like something I would watch. Yeah, he goes on a quest to kill the kid. Basically, there's a lot of really amazing auxiliary characters. There's a lot of real depth in it. And the writer Naoki Urasawa is one of my my all-time favorite writers. So it's really beautiful. I highly recommend. Let me know what you think. Um, on the anime side, Mob Psycho 100 is also in there. Okay. Full Metal is also in there. Man, I might even be forgetting my other anime. Oh, Sham- Samurai that's Shampoo. Okay. Samurai Shampoo. Ooh, there we go. That's a really good yep, one. Yep, yep. That's, uh, that's one that, again, that's one that gets a lot get of, glossed over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think, it, honestly, a lot of people, I think it's a part of the reason, too, between that and Toonami, that a lot of yes. people in black community love anime yes. is because it has so much, like, hip-hop, yeah. uh, like, so, yeah. so much hip-hop. It's, it's like, it's so like, like a, so if you've watched a- Afro Samurai, I would say you definitely yeah, yeah. Okay. Like Samurai Shepherd. Like imagine being in like feudal Japan, but everyone's running around like 
being like breakdancing samurai yeah. to like okay. hip hop. Okay, I think I could get behind that. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. I yeah. And I, I, you know, I can't, for whatever reason, I'm forgetting one of my other top four anime. I'm just going to say Yu Yu Hakusho just because that's uh, oh, that's one of my OG great. ones. And that's, that's such a great It's anime. by the no same writer. I'm over. telling you, writer. I remember <laughs> the day that I decided I was going to watch this. Right. My brother was like, bro, let's watch Yu Yu Hakusho. And I was like, I, I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't know it. But I, I remember the reason that I heard about it was because I was watching. Um, Oh gosh, what what is it? it's like Mojang's top ten and they mentioned mm-hmm. it a lot. Mm-hmm. And finally we found it that that they had it on Hulu. We went to go watch it. I'm watching the first episode. I'm like, what the heck? I thought this was a, a, a like a, a spirit detective type yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we get past the first episode, past the second episode, and then I'm like, Oh, oh, he's dead. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. he's back to life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got powers. Oh, she keeps talking. Okay, stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Oh, that old woman just smacked the mess out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Gang Gang okay, Gang. okay. okay. I'm I'm way too much time. I was definitely too old to what to still be yelling spirit gun. Yes, but I was still yelling spirit gun. But for this young man, it's the same. It's the same writer as Hunter Hunter. Mm-hmm. So if that's one of your the, was your first one, and if you if you watch Hunter Hunter, that's a uh, it's the same writer who made it. It's a similar kind of the character archetypes are actually super similar, and it's it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Highly recommend. I do too. And it has a, it's it's a great story. It's a very well put together story. It's in the older what nineties, mm, yeah, nineties um, yeah, anime so, style, yeah. which I actually have a hard, you know, soft spot for. You have uh, to. There's just something. That, it gives me a very nostalgic feeling when I start watching those, um, mm. animes from the late nineties, early nineties, and even like late eighties. Uh, mm, but absolutely, yeah, I definitely feel you on that one. And I want to be clear, you know, I had a, I had a, my my top ten, my top four was a uh, was uh, was loved all around. So no <laughs> fight, no fighting on me, no, <laughs> no fighting on me. That's a great top. No, nah. we can't, we can't uh, be bossing <laughs> on camera during during USA's now. We got we got the man of the hour last, right? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. All right. So I, I got I got definitely I feel a mixed a mixed bag. So first of all, in no particular order, besides the first one, mm. <laughs> is my favorite. Of course, it's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, yes, absolutely. It's, it's just my favorite. It's, it's beautiful. Not that I could, I've watched this so many times. It's never going to not be a classic to me. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to go into Tokyo Ghoul. Okay. Uh, I got a real... I, I just love it. You know, Wait, you the, like the anime? You like the actual like, yeah. anime? Yeah. Oh. The whole... <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, I... I I know the I know the manga now is go better. In on it. Go in on that I do right know now. the manga is better right okay, now. No, okay, so I have a list on my phone, and it, and Tokyo goes at like the rock bottom. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> wow. But 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 it's just the ending. It's that's, the ending that threw me off. That, that's I, and I understand that because they were going really wild, mm-hmm. but be. But there's that moment when when Jason comes into the room. Okay. And yes. he hits you with the clicky. <laughs> 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 and I'm just like, this man about to get whooped. Oh, and he's man. just like, you've had enough. Crack. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Stop. It's dangerous, yeah. She <laughs> it's dangerous. She got that. She got that. And don't, then this man don't just goes man on ham on him. And I'm just like, yeah, this is this is now a part of my top four. All right, this is where everything starts to get a little weird. Angel Beats is by far wow. in my top four. Whoa. If you don't know Angel wow. Beats, it is a slice of, of life anime. And that's the it, one where they're like in heaven. Like yeah, they're, they're in, in purgatory, band, right? actually. They're, are they in band? They have a band. A band. There is a band in there, but they're, they are all in purgatory. All of them have died. Nobody knows why, how they died, though. Once you figure out how you died, you move on. But Purgatory is set up like a high school. And there is this female who is kind of like an overseer. She's kind of like an angel. Yeah. And they are basically, like, fighting her. But it's very, like, joking this way. Like, yeah. she's OP, and she doesn't really want to harm them. She's actually technically – well, I'm not – actually, I'm not going to say that because that kind of ruins most of the – anime but right, right. yeah but no it, 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 it's no yeah it's really good they have a lot of funny moments but it gets very emotional at the end and it always get me it has an immaculate opening scene and that's mm. yeah, an okay end card but the opening scene definitely hits my heart every time i will watch it full through which is actually a huge like thing for me to say if i'm gonna fall in love with an anime like right. I, again going back to full metal alchemist all their intros i can listen to everyone, all their intros yeah, just yeah, and it's good Oh yeah, every time. It's beautiful. Yeah. 
And then my last one by far would be um I have only two, right? No, I, I gave three. Tokyo Ghoul, Full Metal oh, Alchemist, Ghoul, I forgot. Yeah, uh, yeah, Angel totally, Beats, yep. and then um Oh shoot, I'm drawing a blank blank. Uh, with Lelouch, uh, uh Code Geass. Geass. Code Geass. Yeah. Uh, I'll fight over that too. Code Geass. <laughs> oh man, I'll fight over when that. When I first of all, it's a finished anime. And when a finished so anime is Death Note, but Death Note's the same thing but better and original. <laughs> Fair enough, <laughs> but that's not what got me. <laughs> that's right. just not okay. what hit me. <laughs> it it was just the it, when they they like everything about it when they for, he first gets the ability to you know mind control people and he over here he, when he goes into being zero and he just hits people with the it's just like yeah this man's a boss the strategy I am a sucker for strategy for outplays. For you know, people out trying to outdo each other. Yeah, for when, when we have tragic deaths. L- listen, I I want I want to I wanna push back a little bit. So I, I, just, I, I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Caitlin, no, it's, it's, it's something that Caitlin said earlier, right? When she said one of the sins of anime is when like a bunch of stuff there's fighting and like nothing really happens, yes. right? That's one of the sins. Get in the row. And that was how I felt about Code Geass. There's all this like now I use my Geass. <laughs> all, these, all these dramatic poses. I use my gears and they have all, but then the plot doesn't seem to progress sufficiently for the amount of drama that happened it wasn't until that thing that happened with that one tragic death kind of in the middle was the first time I really felt like there were consequences to the plot and to me like in Death Note for example you really get that sense where you really feel L and Light kind of getting closer to each other you feel the you know, you feel L's kind of, you know, fingers like closing in yeah. on Light's <laughs> neck. And in Death Note, in, in Code Geass, it really just to me felt like they were just showing, you know, showing off yeah. powers and they weren't getting closer. And, and it's kind of like in Fate Zero, same kind of thing where they fight and it's not, and it's not yeah, real significant. Yeah, I, I, I do know and exactly what, what you really refer feel. to in that. That's so, what I really feel like happened in Code Geass. I cut you off for a half a second? Go ahead. So, I know that we could get into this for a real, real long time. We could. <laughs> but... Unfortunately, I don't have all the time in the world. So <laughs> there's enough. a couple questions that I okay, want yeah, to get yeah, to yeah. before I gotta let everybody go about their ways. But to kind of relate this back to running just a little bit, um, with the animes that you guys watch and you guys have considered your favorite, um, what parallels do you see between your favorites and you know your own personal running journey? So. Yeah. You want to go first? <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been uh, I, I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking. He's ready, yeah. he's ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just how I incorporate anime into my just running. Either how you incorporate it or just how you feel like there's some parallels between the both. Between you and the animes you like. Okay, so depending on the anime. Okay, not even just the anime, but depending on the character, it's really motivational. Like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. well, Asta, I always think of Asta during my hard workouts. Always every single time like whenever mm. i'm sitting there dying after like a 300 200 200 300 and everything and I just, know you know, just think what would asta do <laughs> and it's like that's always what i think and before i run i always think of asta and everything and so it's like that helps me personally just get prepared and just be ready so but there's really not too much i find with the animes that i've seen in my year of watching that really correlate too much with track yeah just you got to find your own personal way to get it incorporated yeah. so Oh, speaking to the mic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna be like, I was gonna be like, I was gonna be like, hey, speaking to the mic. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm actually going to. I feel like I'm actually going to enlighten you on why anime does have such a parallel. Spit that to track and field or in sports in general. I'm ready. In almost every great anime, we usually have a protagonist that is seen as Mm -hmm. non-special. Of course. Later down the line, you figure out that they are special. Yeah. But in sports, that is usually where we all find ourselves. Mm. We find ourselves at the bottom of the totem pole, where we are not special. We yeah. haven't made our name. Mm. Nobody's coming up saying, I want to offer you a six-figure deal, right. or you're going to be the, the most amazing athlete. No, you mm. have to fight your way to the top. Mm-hmm. That is us. We are fighting our way to the top in all sports. And you just meet an opponent they're stronger than you you grow you become stronger you beat them and you keep doing that and you keep growing and you keep, it keeps keep going further and further right. you're doing you your own training OP. as in your own training <laughs> you're pushing your body to right. outrageous performances you know you're over here your coach tells you yeah i want you to run a run uh 450 and come do a 50 point yeah oh okay well that sounds like a great friday it's monday and you're doing it today oh 
<laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, I got to get my mind right. You think, like, Goku is over here worrying about mm. everybody else. He's trying to become the strongest person because he that's likes right. to fight. <laughs> right. I don't know right. if anybody watched Dragon Ball Z Abridged, but that's better <laughs> than the original. And right. This man is like, I just want to fight you. I'm going right. to smack you in the nose. That's all Goku <laughs> does, man. <laughs> and Vegeta's over here sees that, and he's going to rise through the challenge. That's all of us. You know, we have those, you know, arrivals or whatever, and we're all rising to that challenge. And then this is where I feel the similarity becomes even stronger. It's when you figure out, you know, midway through your journey or when you're about to be probably your biggest challenge, and you're like, you know, I, I really started with nothing. You know, this isn't something that I can do. What are you talking about? Your mom and dad used to run track. <laughs> well, your great, uh, right, yeah. your grandfather was a such and right. such, and right. and wow. all of a sudden you're learning that you have a deep history in athletics, right. and you're like, what? I didn't even know this. And it's like you were born like for that. moments they just like this. Be, they literally That's just funny. be discovering like their past and stuff, and it's like, oh, like I really do have a place here. Like, exactly. I, like mm. I've been here from the get go. So. And and it's, it's it's cliche, as the the quotes that they say are when they're about to be defeat their biggest villain of. My friends are behind me. This is my friend. This is my friend. And that's the question. I'm going to this. But do you know how true that is? When you are at the top, you are by yourself besides the people that actually truthfully care about you, mm-hmm. your parents, your your coach, your your massage therapist, your chiropractors, not the fans, not the people who are wild at you. They, they switch Winning, up on you quick. They the people quick. who are wild at you for just getting here and putting in the work to get mm-hmm. here. Right. That's actually something that resonates within you right. and makes you want to go even harder. Mm-hmm. And then after you give your answer, I got a couple rapid fire questions. Oh, we, can argue, I, we can argue about him after. I gotta follow that up. Shoot. I think you <laughs> I, got yeah, it. Okay. You yeah. 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 This man speaks Japanese. Somewhere. He got it. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Yeah. You know, I feel like part of it sometimes uh, it's hard to really say it better than what Noah did, but just to add a couple of different aspects. There's also like the music. You know, like there's, mm-hmm. you know, there's the way that music comes in. You know, when it starts being like you know and yeah. my hero and it's like yeah it, it's like uh you know whether it's like uh number one in bleach right like or yes. just the uh oh, the, the naruto drums exactly exactly and just the like, oh, the way those yeah. moments hit like there's i, I mentioned uh, ace of diamond earlier that's a baseball anime and uh, you know i grew up loving baseball i haven't followed it in years but you know if you love baseball you'll love it and there's this moment this 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 player hits you know, he, he he's kind of injured. It's like a 3-0 count. It's like bottom of the 10. It's extra innings. And he just, like, hits a uh, he hits a walk-off home run, walk-off solo home run, a 3-0 count. Um, and it's, like, silent for a second. And then, like, because they play the music all the time, like, it starts coming in. The announcer's like, sayonara! Like, let's go, sayonara! And then, and then he looks at his teammates, and then they're, 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 like, jumping off the bench, right? They're, like, running off. Like, they, they slow motion just like Noah's going right now. They're Look all moving him. out. And then the music goes, and it's like, ah! You know, it's like, sha! And they get a picture of the crowd, and they're all in Exactly. They're all screams. coming out. Nobody's moving, but right. they shake the camera. Yes. Like, yes. That, like, that's how I see the moment when I had, like, my best races, like, and I crossed the finish line. And I'm like, oh, my God, did I just do that? And I'm, right. like, looking for my dad in the stands you know yes. and it's like ah oh, like this is this is it like and so really being able to like replicate that kind of moment with the music and everything like you can really see that sometimes and then the way you see your best moments in sports yeah. and in life you know right. uh, 100% all right so for the first rapid fire question who do you think in your training group could survive the rumbling i'm sorry what's the word rumbling <laughs> Have you seen Attack on Titan? Uh, oh, okay, yes. okay. Is that what they called that? That's yeah, what they called yeah. it. They called I was watching that in subs, so. <laughs> what is the number I got? I thought it was called the Rumbling and Sub, too. It's been yeah. called the Rumbling and Everything. Oh, I'm, I'm about to explain. I got dyslexia, so my shine <laughs> guy is a little. My shine guy is a little wonky <laughs> 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 at times. That's hilarious. Sometimes I got to yeah. skim through a lot oh faster than I want to. Yeah. Right. Shoot. Who right there? Well, I'm going to tell you, my brother will be surviving. He will, uh, he, he probably sacrificed me to get through it. Too. Sacrifice you? What? <laughs> okay, the only reason I say that, I'm, I'm really not trying to say that. He's definitely a team player by far. But 
we play this video we play this board game it's a zombie survival game and this mm. man oh, <laughs> stay yeah, yeah. <laughs> to yeah, play he's staying being selfish for him he's like so in the game it's like oh you could bring on like survivors but you got to bring in more food yeah it's, it seems to be like oh yeah uh i'm allowed to bring on a survivor bro we're we're we're, we're struggling to find gas and food right now but this one comes with a shotgun <laughs> <laughs> you dare i'm bringing them on stop it <laughs> stop it yeah yeah so if the rumbling ever happened it was nice to know you know elias he's gone Goodbye. oh i tell my friend me and my friend Jalen bacon who, who who also he retired this year but he was in our training group he ran track and all that stuff uh i we agree if a zombie apocalypse happened i'm dying I'm, th- I'm sacrificing myself. That's Straight up. I'm not That's living through that. No, no, it. nowhere to it. eat, nowhere to sleep. People getting pregnant, having babies. <laughs> <laughs> we over here dying left and right. That's topical right, That's topical right sure, now. I'm getting cold right and now. flu. I'm gonna die. I'm not, I'm not suffering <laughs> through that. Forget COVID. I'm, I'm trying to find a warm bed. Is that even running water? TV? Internet? Where are we going? Man, come on, you can't live without TV. I can't live without a bed that don't feel like the ground. <laughs> oh, God. Here I'm we not go. a camper. I'm dying. I'm sacrificing myself. Y'all go on. Enjoy you yourself. Tripping, Enjoy your life. I'm going to heaven. Who you feel like in your training group would survive? I would say my old teammate Hugh. He lived in. The, he's in a. He's he's from uh, Mayo, Ireland, which is like rural. It's like it's like the rural Alabama of Ireland. You know what I'm saying? You go to his house. He's got like he's got like ponies in the backyard yeah. and like goats and you know he worked in a bog farm. And, you know, he'll be like, oh, yeah, this guy came over. He's from, he's from a Sinn Féin family, which is like uh, Irish, like, you know, Republicans. Not like American Republicans, but like, <laughs> like the yeah, Irish like, Republicans. Yeah, we're going to be clear. Yeah, we're going to be clear. You know, like, that, like, huh? like Irish Republican, <laughs> like, uh, like nationalists, basically. They're very far left. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he sounds like, right? like he could. He sounds like he could. He'll be like, oh, yeah, this guy had an IRA training ground on his on his home, like, uh, back, in, back in the war, like. <laughs> with the guy who's his house. I'm like, all right, if there's someone who, if you got friends who had IRA training grounds on your house, you going to survive the yeah. rumbling. Mm-hmm. What about you, Aiden? Uh, Donovan Mooney. I feel like he will be able to spot. He loves Attack on Titan. He knows about every Titan in detail. He would find some way to get through it. Oh, Lord. Is he a Titan shifter? <laughs> he wishes. <Ooh>. He wishes. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> all right. So the biggest debate in anime is always... Is there a character who can go toe to toe with Goku and possibly defeat him? I thought the Saitama conversation Solos. was sub versus dubbed. <laughs> <laughs> how, that, you, how you know that wasn't gonna be my next question, Noah? You just said See? the most one. <laughs> Saitama Solos. I agree. Say something, Noah. Say did something, they Noah. not just? <laughs> did, did, <laughs> hang on. Did they not just put something in the new? chapter about goku being transported to a, a world that was empty and still breathing oh man did they not uh, did saitama not go to the moon and he was just chilling and that's he went great back? this is another universe that is empty and void of nothing saitama was chilling on the moon well, that's great they, well, okay, what, they're fighting. what's the moon to a universe they they're fighting on earth he one punch man what's, what's the word one punch a kamehameha can destroy a world that ain't nothing special. Did you see? Oh, Lord. You see what happened Freeza to Lord Boros? Planets. You see? You see what Saitama did to Lord Boros? That's cute. Lord Boros has uh, been there a lot of uh, 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 Ultra Instinct Kamehameha can worlds. destroy <laughs> multi <laughs> a galaxy. He destroyed a lot of worlds. <laughs> oh my God! All right, and since no one wants to steal the about show, I'm not stealing nothing. Since no I'm one wants to steal the show and ask my question before I got there, dub or sub? I actually don't care. I'm gonna watch both. I'm going to enjoy anime in whatever form it comes in. Uh, so I watched sub for Bleach strictly for the Bankais and sub. That was That's it. That's real. The Bankais and, are fire. Yeah. Give, so, give us a Bankai, man. Give us a Bankai. Well, a, ba- a Bankai right yeah, now. Do yeah. it. Do it right now. Right now. Okay. So Byaki is my second favorite character. Oh, so I'll, I'll do good. his. I'll do his. All right. Let's go. All right. Bankai, Senbon, Zakura, Kageyoshi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, yes. So I watched that in sub and I watched Black Clover in sub. And then I was like, this is just, this is going to be a lot having to read this. So then I started going back to dub, but I watch sub when I need to, like when mm, new I episodes agree with that. come out. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I agree with that. I learned Japanese, so now I watch with neither. Oh, well, shit. Oh, my God. God. This is a different. This, this man different. said, oh, my wa. No. Shindai wo. Hey, the only thing I can say is, yo, why mo? Go, Joe. <laughs> yes. All right, well, 
it was really nice chatting with y'all. I feel like we could definitely talk about this for hours, but unfortunately, <laughs> the rest of the track and field community would probably hate us or think that we're crazy and weird. But I it's do fine understand because, that. But it's okay. <laughs> I think they would think we're really cool, actually. You know what? They That's will like, now. If you <laughs> be, I'm speaking for the younger generation. <laughs> if you want to be a part of this cool group, you know, Jordan, Caitlin, Aiden, and Noah, you know, watch some anime, chat it up with us, hit us up on social media, and uh, we can get it cracking. So, thank I, you. You said Twitter yeah, space. Twitter, Twitter space. Hey, it's true. I'll get we'll, I'll get one of my uh, sprint talks and we'll just talk anime for one yes. whole session. I Let's can't wait. All right. I feel like we need badges now. Like we, can we, can we like, have to be sold to anybody who wants to be badges. An anime track <laughs> we can get deputy sold with badges. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, thank you guys for chatting with me today. I'm so happy that we actually got a chance to do this because I am a lot too. of people are like, you know, they know y'all fast. They know y'all do what y'all do. But I think people really enjoy getting to know you um, and the stuff that you enjoy. So thank you for that. Man, thank thanks you. for having me. I'm, I'm excited. Here. It's thank always you. a pleasure doing this. Thank All right, you for having it's me. Caitlin. Peace out. <laughs>